The case study for Croft is about a bank loan, which has a constant payoff amount. It can be found in Chapter 15 of the Basics. I'm Carsten Berger, full accounting professor in Osnabrück. My basic scripts will help you to understand international bookkeeping. So in the case study for Prof, Proprietary Limited, the company will take a bank loan and the date when they take the bank loan is the 1st of April in 2002. So you see that the April is underlined in the text, which is for us already a warning. We have to consider that now the interest is only for a certain period. So the period starts on the 1st of April and ends on the 31st of December, which gives us 75%. The interest in the first year is only 75% of the annual rate of interest. The principle of the bank loan is 75,000 euros and Falkroft Proprietary Limited has agreed that they pay off an amount of 5,000 euros every year. The annual rate of interest is 3.1% per annum. We have to calculate the interest by multiplying 75,000 with the interest rate and we have to multiply by 75%. In the next year, 2003, the company will owe the bank 70,000 as 5,000 has been paid off already. So we calculate the interest 70,000 multiplied by 3.1%. I like to add this is not an annuity, it is a bank loan with a constant payoff amount. I start to explain what happens with the bank loan by the balance sheet. In the first place, the company will take the bank loan which gives them 75,000 in the cash bank account. The contra entry is made in interest bearing liabilities. So it is a debit entry in cash bank, 75,000. And a credit entry is recorded in the interest bearing liabilities account. So the interest payment in this case is 3.1% multiplied by 75% multiplied by 75,000. In total the interest is 1,743.75. I have to deduct interest from cash bank. So I'm left with 73,256. 0.25. At the same time, in retained earnings, I record an expense of 1743.75. Next, the company has to pay the payoff amount, which is 5000 as agreed. So that leaves us in the interest bearing liabilities account with 70,000 euros. And the cash bank account is reduced by another 5,000. We have to consider that short-term and long-term liabilities will be disclosed separately, which requires us to transfer the short-term liabilities from the long-term liabilities. We take out another 5,000 for the next accounting period, so it leaves us with 65,000 in the interest-bearing liabilities account, and we record 5,000 euros in the accounts payables account. I make the bookkeeping entry, there's a debit entry in the interest bearing liabilities account, 5000. And a credit entry is now recorded in the accounts payables, which is for the short term payoff in the next accounting period. The total on both sides should be the same. I make the initial bookkeeping entry in cash bank and interest bearing liabilities. So debit entry cash, credit entry in the interest bearing liabilities account. For the calculation of a bank loan, this Excel file provides you with an interest and payoff plan. Now the payoff is always 5000.
and I have to overwrite here the interest as it is only the interest which is paid for 75% and I record interest in 2002 that gives me the second bookkeeping entry I take the value from my interest and pay off schedule The next step is the payoff, which gives me a debit entry in the interest bearing liabilities account. It's bookkeeping entry number three. Debit entry, interest bearing liabilities, credit entry, cash bank as it has been paid. Bookkeeping entry four takes 5,000 out of the long term liabilities and transfers them to the short term liabilities. The next step, I have to balance off all the accounts. I transfer the interest to the profit and loss account for 2002. And in the profit and loss account, it's interest. And that gives us a net loss and is transferred to the retained earnings account. Now, I'll quickly balance off the retained earnings account. And I can prepare my balance sheet. So there is in the cash bank account 68,000. In the retained earnings account, I get a negative amount as it is a loss. And the long term liabilities will be 65,000, whereas the short term ones will be 5,000. So that is now Volkov Proprietary Limited Statement of Financial Position at the end of the accounting period 2002 under consideration of its bank loan. For this case study, the effective interest method does not apply. The reason is we pay the interest annually and the total payoff amount equals the principal of the bank loan. This is actually the default case for bank loans. Now that you have seen the video, take the textbook and study the case.